Create this boundary, squeeze this boundary against it, and my peanut butter has no place to go but that way. You follow that? It's not just putting my weight forward and like putting my momentum that direction like a big brick. I'm focusing my energy in that direction. But one side is making this boundary, I'm squeezing that boundary against it. Boom! That's the only place it can go is that direction. And every technique would do that. Whatever the movement is, that's what you're doing. You're creating the shapes that you're putting energy through via your breath. So you got this little, you got this kind of hip vibration. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna step, and I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna drive this hip behind this elbow because. I was taught that's not a block. I was taught that essentially that is that, that is this movement here. That that's this. Here. That's the feeling. Like a rolling pin. Now the most common mistake that I see happen here for people is when they go into this 270 degree turn, they kind of lean into the, they kind of lighten up this leg by tilting their body, and then they kind of straighten their body as they finish. So what I would say is, you never really want to break this axial elongation look, this kind of clean vertical axis. So when you start your movement, you want to pull this foot up and keep this line nice and straight. So there's not this funny little kind of wobbly thing happening in there in between. Follow that idea? And any, even on top of that, it's like, never do you want this feeling of losing your center. So right now I've got good connection to my center. So in my movement, I still have good connection to my, the feeling of my center is always snug. And then this hand falls with its heaviness off attached to my frame, like that feeling. So it's like, and then I cut. And this is like through my shape, through my shape. So be careful not to, but more, okay, capture that image. What I always did with my sensei was um, after every class, I would try to pick up maybe one or two things that then I could integrate into my practice. Because the whole point of your journey, and take, it, take my word for it, after five plus decades, is that every day you want to be just a little bit ahead of where you were the last time. This is really powerful, okay? And the way you got to do that is be kind of excited about integrating some new information into this already building puzzle that you're constructing.